Hello guys, it's Chris, your YouTube daddy here. Well, I'm back in the arcade. I've spent most of the day at Pete's place helping him move a machine in the back of the van. So I've decided to come back here and do some work. And I've now started to put the number plates and all the different signs which I bought from America on the roof in the burger bar. So I'm about halfway there now. It's not as easy as you think if I have to drill holes in it, I have to put raw plugs in it and everything to make sure they don't fall off. And obviously I have to clean them all up and stuff like that. So I'm about halfway there now with putting the number plate on the ceiling because I want to fill it up completely. So I've still got a few left which I need to pull up. So I'm about halfway through that now. Uh, I can't remember where I was on the videos. Oh, Jumbo, Dumbo, uh, sorry, Jumbo has now dried. So, and it only needed the one coat. So it didn't need two coats. But I've still not painted the black bits on it yet. Because I was going to do that today. But as I said, I got waylaid at Pete's place. Because I had to help him move a, uh, pick up a new P 2P pusher in the van. And obviously when you're chatting with people. So I've wasted most of the day to be fair. Uh, but it's all right. It's all right. So it's six o'clock at night. And I'm still here. So I'm doing about an hour's work here. And then I will carry on. So I'll just carry on putting the number plates up. So let's see what I've got left to do. I can't even remember now. So I've got to paint that bit black on the top of there. I've got to put the locks on that. Which I've still not done. I've got a load of polishing to do. So I've got the polish out. They're ready. I've got to fill my machine up with chocolate. Let's not forget that. So I'm going to fill up the machine with chocolate. Uh, I've got a problem with that machine there. So I need to have a look at that. That's giving me uh, uh, fault 31. So I need to have a look in the, uh, the manual and see what fault 31 is. I think it might be something to do with the hopper. I'm not sure. All the other machines are working. Except for Vertigo. That's giving me a... 24 volt volt which i think is to do with the hopper i think but i'll work that one out later so that one there needs doing that one there needs doing and that's all the machines going that machine's going on tuesday so i've arranged that machine to go on tuesday that machine there uh horn of plenty is being moved to there then the pool table needs to go back and then I need to wash the carpet I've got my carpet cleaner in here to wash my carpet put the pool table back and then put everything back together and then polish so we, we're certainly getting there certainly by this week it'll be fully ready I say I'm not opening until the 3rd of March so I've got plenty of time I just need to polish everything up because obviously they've been, they've been stagnant for quite a while polish all these machines up here i need to stick more dollars in the other side so we've got dollars in there so i need to stick some dollars in that one and some dollars in that one uh and i think that's about it to be fair guys and then the only big job oh i've got to do the handle on this as well which I never got round to last year. I bought the metal bar, but never did it. So I've still got to replace the handle on the big puller. And then uh, getting the merchandise done. So me and the group Pete have agreed a plan now on the merchandise. We're going to buy a proper press and we're going to make them ourselves. So I just need to sort out getting the press and organising... Uh, the software for my computer and the proper paper and stuff like that but that's not that complicated in the burger bar a little bit of painting under there oh and the next other big job is i've got to work out where to mount my speaker because i took my speaker down which was over there and now I, now i don't know where to put my speaker so i need to either get a different speaker see what's happening on the phone Okay, I know we need to get a different speaker, an external speaker, 
or find somewhere to mount that. I think I might have to get a different speaker to be fair. I'm not a hundred sure. Uh, and a little bit of painting in here, not a lot. A little bit of painting in here. And I think that's about it then guys. But I'm sure I'll think of other stuff I've got to do. So we'll just have to drink a pop then. So we're, we're definitely getting there now, guys. We're definitely getting there. So what do you think? I'll just show you all the machines that we've got. So the Simpsons, the Adams Family, one of them darts ones, Big Ghoulies, that's a cool machine. Obviously, for those of you who've been watching this channel, this is new to the arcade now, party time. So I'll put that in right at the end of last season and it's not being used yet. So that's the one that came from uh, Slots of Fun. So that's the new for this season. That's a nice big machine there for you. I know a lot of people like the party time machines now. I know you retro boys definitely like it, like JD Slots and all that lot. So there you go. And uh, if, you, if you've ever played this one, that when it was over Slots of Fun, uh, the, the first bank didn't use to have volume on it, but I fixed the volume on that now, so that's now working. So everything's working on all of them. I've got a couple of bulbs to do on them, but nothing major. Tabutio, Thunderball, Pac Man. Can't remember what I've got right here. What's that one called? Uh, oh, Magic Miner, Monopoly, good old classic Monopoly. Uh, Son of Dracula, Real or No Real, Cash Vegas, The Big Breakfast, I know you retro guys love that, Delve Millions, which is now on pounds, I have changed the hopper for that, so you can now use that on pounds, and at the moment these are just used on 20p's these two, but I'll try and get them done, so that's another job I need to do, get these two so they can accept pounds as well, obviously my 2p machine, my kids' machines for the uh, the pound toys. Horn of Plenty, which is going to be moved. That one there. Deal or no deal. A classic Simpsons. Jewel in the Crown. Me bingo machine. Vertigo, which I need to fix, as I said. This one, this uh, bit of bully. Uh... Bully Star Prize. I've now fixed that one, so that's working perfectly. Piggy in the Middle. A nice classic one then. Everybody loves Piggy in the Middle. That's one of your, pla your classic 1970s uh, pub bandits, club bandits, that is. You don't see many of them about. I actually got that from... Uh, where did I get that from? From uh, Harbour Lights. I think it's called Harbour Lights. Uh, in uh, Fleetwood. That, uh, that big arcade that's on Fleetwood Prom, got owned by a guy called Lee. You obviously have seen this one. My Penny a Play, 2P for 2 goes, classic machine, 1960s type of thing. Obviously the big puller, where I need to fix the handle. Then you've got this one, which you all know about this one, because you've seen me fix this one. That's rolling, so that's working perfectly now. All the bulbs are working Everything's working on that one now. My little one here, which is my OXO. This is your club bandy, your club OXO. Three bar one. Your crazy fruits, classic crazy fruits. Can't build a bit of crazy fruits. And uh, my boxer, obviously, at the front. And as you know, this one is being taken away. So that's a good walk around of all my machines. You know what machines I've got now. For those of you who come in, I've had to move it around a little bit. So my 10p changer is now over here. Because it was originally over there. But with putting the YouTube cabinet in, I've had to move it around. Because it had to be moved over there. So the 10p changer is only really for when you play this machine. And there you go. So if you like this video, that's just a quick walk around showing you what I'm up to today. Showing you, even though I got waylaid doing stuff at Pete's place, I'm still putting the arcade back together. And don't worry, guys, I will definitely be ready for the 3rd of March. As I said, I opened the 3rd of March at 12 o'clock on the 3rd of March. And then I'm open seven days a week. And I'll be open four hours a day 
up until Easter. And then once I hit Easter, then the hours will start extending after that. So from the 3rd of March up until Easter, it'll be about four hours a day. Depending, if it's busy, I might stay open a little bit longer. But as a general rule, it's four hours a day, 12 till 4, from the 3rd of March, which is the first Saturday in March. And then after Easter, the hours start to extend. And as the further into season I go, the longer the hours go. And you can say, so all I've really got to do is titivation stuff. A lot of it is doing what I said I was going to do with getting more of an American theme in here. I know I've got a heavy American theme here with all the flags and all the that kind of stuff and all the stuff at the back. But I just wanted more American stuff in here. For those of you not seen it, I've got quite a lot of pictures as well. Elvis pictures. That stuff's been up there for years. Uh, I've got stuff around here. You know I, I love the whole Elvis 1950 stuff. So some Elvis books here. Number plates here. Universal Studios. Clapperboards. Uh, Tennessee magazines. Elvis stuff there. The whole American theme stuff. So I'm just going to be putting more of that up. Route 66 signs. More number plates up there. Route 66 size, number plates, them flags, them, uh, them sporting flags. I can't think what they're called. Hey, could you please put in below, in the comments below, if you know what these flags are called, these triangular flags. I've no idea what they're called, actually. A few pictures around. So I just want to basically fill the place up. And then the next thing I'm going to do is start filling the ceiling up here. We still, I think a guitar on there and stuff like that would look cool. I've got a Pepsi sign there. Oh, some more number plates there in case I hadn't got enough number plates. Oh, another Elvis thing up there. Some more of them triangular flags that I can't think of the names. Right, there we go. That's a quick walk. Oh, God, God. A, a, uh, a subscriber sent me this which is really cool. I can't remember, sorry, I've forgotten the name of the subscriber who sent me this, but that does look really cool. All Elvis albums. I'll show you that there. That does look really cool. And then obviously on this side, one of my subscribers sent me that, which is really cool. A few number plates. And then uh, another subscriber sent me the one pound burger. So when people do send me uh, signs and stuff like that, which goes with the whole American type of theme, yeah, I always try and uh, find a space in the arcade for them. Taking care of business, bit of Elvis Presley stuff there for those of you. Some more of them triangular flanks, which I can't think of the name of them. Right, there we go, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will keep you up to date with what's going on and everything else that's going on. And I know Pete's going to start doing videos like this about the work that he's doing in his arcade. Because he's going to start, well he started the day when we moved that machine in. And then he's going to do, do, start doing a lot of changes uh, between now and March. So for the next month, because obviously at the beginning of March, I think he goes on holiday on the 4th of March. So he obviously has to have everything ready before then. So when he comes back, he's reopening straight away. So he's not going to have time after he comes back off holiday. So I know he's for the next month, while the uh, the rest of the family are going away somewhere on holiday, I know he's going to be working flat out at the arcade. Okay, guys, so you've got plenty of stuff to be coming, uh, to be waiting for and to be looking forward to. And I'll say if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. See you later, guys.